I'm heading off to Limassol, where I'm going to meet Rodi Domales, one of the island's finest chefs. He's well known here for taking traditional Cypriot recipes and giving them a modern twist. Los puto chili se lo majid. Table one, lovely. Let's go with that. We've got over... Roddy's restaurant is called Piadagya, which means little plate. He uses a fusion of tastes and isn't afraid to experiment with traditional dishes and produce. Nice, 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 nice. Roddy often does shopping and cooking lessons for food enthusiasts. And today, my cousins and I are joining the group. Apart from meeting a couple of the regular stall holders, we're going to pick out some fresh food to cook later on at Roddy's restaurant. So we've got some gorgeous anquinares. Yeah, yeah, the artichokes, which are beautiful at the moment. I think artichokes are one of those things that people are used to actually getting out of a jar. So again, we'll pick up a couple and I'll show you and what I'm to do. And I'm glad that we've got Mariana here with us. This is my cousin who, who doesn't cook. So, Roddy, I want oh. by the end of today yeah. for her to at least be able to do something <laughs> for her Mariana, poor, long-suffering husband. I love husband. people like you because the less you know, the cleverer I look. So that's <laughs> <very> <laughs> Roddy's been coming to this market for years to buy his daily produce, and everything he cooks has to be in season and fresh. We start off with our sea bass over here. We've got some sea bream. One of my favorites are absolutely, they're, I love the, the red mullet, the barboni. It's so tasty. Exactly. Isn't it? The tasty meat is fish. so, so sweet. Okay. In fact, I do a recipe with these with uh, rose petals uh, mm. in a rose wine. It's absolutely beautiful, okay, because oh, it brings out the fantastic. flavor. Yeah. Do you all like fish? I'm not I a big it. fan, Roddy, to tell you the truth. I think, Mariana, a lot of times people are a little bit scared off by fish because of the fact that they've had bad experiences yeah. with fish, OK? It's so really it's really either good. very fishy fish that, that people have, have experienced, especially as a child, and that it's put them off. So are we going to buy some fish? Absolutely. OK. I'd suggest that we actually take a couple of red mullet and yeah. we make that recipe for Yeah, because I, the idea of having rose petals and rosé with it is Indeed. amazing. OK. So it's red mullet and rose petals for our main course. We just need to pick out a selection of fruit and vegetables to go with it. Over here, we've got some fresh broad beans. It's one of those products that we're used to seeing in a health store uh, in, in a dried version. Whereas here, uh, at this stage, you can get them fresh, munch them as they are, and of course, you, you're not losing out on any of the nutrients and the vitamins, etc. For me, I don't know, Roddy, because I know that you do kind of modern cuisine, but for mm. me, nothing beats broad beans, boiled up, Bit of olive vinegar, oil. olive oil, touch of salt. Mm. Is there exactly. A, that, that's the you, only way to eat them. Exactly. Would you grab some strawberries from the, from the well, A punnet or single strawberries and no, how many? Punnet, punnet. A punnet. Don't mind. That's great. Um, and we said nice peppers stuff. and mushrooms, huh? Mushrooms. Yeah. 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 Brody, how many do you need? How many mushrooms? Some, uh, right. We've got everything we need. Guys, I think it's time to go and cook. We're heading back to cook and hopefully we'll get my cousin Mariana to conquer her fear of fish at the same time. As well as cooking the fish, we're going to be using some of the other ingredients we bought at the market to make a couple of simple starters. So, welcome guys. That was uh, <laughs> nice to have us. you here. That was a great morning of shopping and tasting, etc. Now what we're going to do is, as you've seen, we've brought all of the goodies over here, prepared it, and we're going to throw together a couple of really, really nice dishes. Very easy, very casual taste as we go along. Most importantly, glass of wine in one hand. Okay. That sounds like my type of cookery lesson. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> so. Can I have some help, dear? Yeah? <laughs> Good. <laughs> We're going to start off okay. with the hiromeri. Do you All right, like what am I doing? Hiromeri is finely sliced smoked ham, and we're spreading it with cream cheese. OK, so what are you doing now? You're separating we, up we're the... We're just going to put a couple of rocket sprigs over there, uh -huh. and we're going to just roll it into a nice cone. There we go. Exactly. And will you cook these? No. No, no, just plain mm. like that. Beautiful. Mm. In the meantime, I'm going to get Mariana to just... Not the fish. Not the fish. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> if you could just chop the tails of those, of and then we'll zap them in the blender. If I could have each of your plates, and then we could just pop one of these on there. Thank you. Roddy's whizzed up the strawberries with some black pepper to make a sauce to drizzle over the meat. Isn't that fun? Mm. Oh, good. You're welcome to use your hands for those as well, because they're very 
conducive to doing. And how would you say this really? As a startup? As or a startup. Or as part of a sale? Starter, or you could do it as a, if you were doing a, a buffet of just sort of finger nibbly bits, then I would certainly add that. But it's lovely as a starter. Mm. We're going to do a couple of dishes simultaneously so we can all get involved. We're going to zap our uh, yellow and red peppers into the oven to start roasting. We're then going to do our mushrooms in comandaria and rosemary. And then we're going to do our little barboni, the red mullet. <laughs> Roddy's first job is to roast the peppers on the highest oven setting. We're going to be skinning them and a blast of heat means that this is the easiest way to do it. My cousin Abostole has volunteered to help Roddy with the mushrooms. As Abostole chops them into quarters, Roddy adds some butter and gumandaria wine to a pan. Then he sprinkles some rosemary, pepper, salt and brown sugar. And that'll give you that nice caramel. Sugar and cream, yeah. sugar and butter. <laughs> you're going to see the bubbles over there. And the minute the bubbles start becoming thick and lazy and plump, you know that you, you're getting there. Mariana, I'm going to be keeping tabs on you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be speaking to your husband. <laughs> Although I love people like Mariana because we can make a living. Absolutely. <laughs> we don't want everybody becoming fabulous chefs. <laughs> OK. So we're just going to leave these for a little while. You see how the mushrooms have actually started taking on the colour of the comandaria. That's ready. We'll transfer it over here. We're going to put this bread into the oven mm -hmm. and then serve immediately. Oh, that mm. just it smells, smells yeah. heavenly. <laughs> I mean, and pure <laughs> clean smells. Amazing. Oh, okay. You know, I can smell the comandaria, I can smell the rosemary. Mm. Just fantastic. Very often you look at a recipe and there are 500 ingredients and yeah. you think to yourself, what am I actually going to taste there? Um, so something like this, like you say, there are only two or three ingredients and then they, they work to their maximum. Time to take the peppers out of the oven now. Can you see how the skin has just started blistering off the pepper and we haven't lost any of the volume? So, what the next step over here is that we take these and pop them into a dish and then cover them and seal them with cling film and just allow them to stand for a little while. Are you or are you not going to go near the fish? I'll go near the fish. Really? <laughs> cool. you never me to. I... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, slowly we're getting you closer and closer <laughs> and closer. So eventually, yeah. who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Excellent. Mariana can come over here with me. You see, they don't bite. No, no. they're dead. They're exactly. <laughs> 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 so we're going to go with a nice butter again. And we're going to, at this stage, add our fish. We're going to go with some salt. We're going to go with some black pepper, some pink peppercorn, which we're going to keep whole with a bit of rosemary. The smell is actually very, very gentle that's coming from the fish. It's not a very strong fish. It actually doesn't with. smell very fishy. Exactly. The big thing with fish is not to overcook it. Yeah. All right, so cook it until it's 90% cooked, 85% cooked. Then you remove it from, from the pan and it will cook in its own, own heat. heat. Okay. Yeah. So that's very, very important because it's that delicate. That's one of the things that most people do with fish that puts them off cooking it, like you were saying, is that they're scared and therefore they overcook it and it becomes dry and tasteless instead of moist and delicious. Exactly. So we're actually ready to just turn them around at the moment. So we're just going to flip them around. And now... We're ready for the rosé. As the fish is almost ready, Roddy adds the rose petals. He doesn't want to cook them, he's just allowing them to wilt over the fish. The peppers are ready to have their skins peeled off and it's time to prepare the marinade for them. Black pepper, dried mint, rosé wine, balsamic vinegar and a generous pouring of olive oil. And lastly, some crushed garlic. Finally, it's time to cut some freshly baked Cypriot bread into slices, which is perfect for using to dip into the sauce and juices. Caliorexi, bon appétit, everybody. Enjoy. And uh, I've had a really great afternoon with you. Oh, thank you, Rodney. That mushroom sauce. Aren't they mm. fun, huh? It's incredible. No, no, fun is not the word. For it. <laughs> Divine is the word for it. Mariana Mo, Arabi Mo, my darling. There's no way that I can let you leave this whole workshop without tasting a bit of fish. So look. <laughs>